Hello there. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build your very own wizard lamp. Let's start with what we have included in the box. So first of all, we've got this list of materials and disclaimers. We've got the microcontroller here. This USB cable that will provide power. The magic wand sensor module and the addressable RGB light strip. We've also got these pieces of laser cut plywood, some screws and this diffusion material here. All right, so the first step is you're going to take your microcontroller, get rid of this foam here, get your USB cable and plug it in to the USB port on the controller. Then take this piece of laser cut ply here. There's a hole that will line up with some of the pins. We want to line that USB cable up with the notch at the bottom there. And once again, with the pins lined up with the hole, you're going to take this piece of ply here and slide it over top of the controller just so it fits in place. Holding that together, we are going to take the screws and screw it in from the underside with these two holes here. Right, the two pieces of ply are nice and flush. Okay, now you're going to take this other piece here with the pin labels facing upwards and you're going to place it over top of the assembly you already have. Again, lining up the two holes with the screws that you have just put in. To hold that in place there. And we're going to tighten that with the screwdriver. There you have it. We're going to set that aside for now. Take your sheets of diffusion material here. And what we're going to be doing is cutting out five squares of approximately 120 millimeters by 120 millimeters. There's some magic for you. So there you go, all five sheets. Take one of the sheets. What we're gonna do is cut a approximately 30 millimeter diameter hole in the center so that the magic wand sensor module will be able to fit through. Uh, using my scissors to cut out a circular hole right down the middle. Take all the side panels of the lamp, set aside the base, which is this piece here. We won't be needing that for now. And the top part, which we'll do last. So now we have the four sides with the star cutouts. With the four sides done, now we'll be doing the same for the top base. So take the sheet of material that you've recently cut a hole out of, line it up so that the circular hole is in the center of the face. That's where the magic wand sensor will go. Okay, so now we'll begin assembling all the panels. Start with the base, and the faces are all symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which one you start with. As you can see, the finger joints here will fit into each other, so what we need to do is just add some glue to the finger joints like so and then slot them together. Make sure you get a nice 90 degree angle here. And I'm going to do the same with all the other faces. Okay, and now we have the four faces and the bottom panel all assembled together. Next, we'll be assembling the magic wand sensor into its holder. So with the sensor bent like so at a 90 degrees, uh, making sure that the text, the very tiny text is facing outwards, you're going to be inserting the sensor through this hole on this circular piece here so that the sensor slots into place on the other side and kind of hooks in together. Take your glue and just give, give it a nice dousing to make sure that everything is held in place and wait for that to dry. Apply glue to the flat side of the magic wand sensor module and then press it down onto your top panel so that the sensor lines up with the magic wand icon on the outside of the panel. Now that's lined up, I'm going to take some more glue and add it to this gap here uh, to act as a strain relief for the wires. I'm going to be applying glue to all the finger joints on the top ridge of the box and then pressing the top panel down in place like so. And there's the outer shell assembled. Now for the electronics, take your light strip. If it has an adhesive back, remove the protective film. Apply some glue to these pieces here on the top panel of the plywood. This is where the light strip will go. Press it down so that the wires are pointing in the opposite direction of the USB cable. 
Just press that down there, hold it in place for a little bit and give it time to dry. Okay, now that it's dried, we're going to be plugging in these wires here into the controller. We're gonna first start off with the wire with the black tag at the end. This is going to go into the pin marked GND or ground. Next, we'll be taking the red wire, plugging that into the pin marked 5V. That's five volts and that will supply power to the lights. Finally, take the wire with the white tag. This wire will transmit instructions from the controller to the light strip and we'll be plugging that into the pin mark D3. Okay, almost there. Now, take the box and we'll be plugging in the wires from the magic wand sensor into the controller. We'll be starting with the black wire. Once again, this will go into the pin mark G and D. There are two pins marked G and D on this board. Take the yellow wire. This wire will tell the controller when a magic wand is present at the sensor. We'll plug this into the pin mark D8. And finally, the red wire which will plug into the pin marked 3V, 3 volts. This supplies power to the sensor. And there you have it. Next, push the USB cable through the cutout notch here and making sure that the, all the electronics are secure and that no wires are being pinched, carefully secure this piece to the bottom of the box. Making sure that these two holes are lined up, I'm going to take my two remaining screws and then just screw them in with my screwdriver. And there you have it. Congratulations on completing the assembly of your wizard lamp. Thank you for watching.